Hi, this is Jim coming from Redmond, Oregon at Light Elegance headquarters. Today in Chemist Corner, we're going to briefly talk about allergies. And so I don't want to hammer this one too heavily, but we want to talk about what is an allergy and why is it specific to individual people and about the product that you use. And so one of the things I want to focus on today is a lot of people think that if you have an allergen in a product, everybody's going to have an allergy to it. And that's not true. When you walk outside and someone has an allergy to say grass pollen, that it's going to be specific to that person or a group of people and only to that pollen. You may have an allergy to grass pollen, but you may not have an allergy to pine pollen. Or in our area, we have a lot of juniper trees, so juniper pollen. So if you have an allergy to grass pollen, then that's going to be specific to you or a small group of people, and it's going to be specific to that type of pollen. It's how your body reacts to what that allergen is as it enters into your body or it comes in contact with your body. In the case of fingernail products, a person may have an allergy to one resin and nothing else. And so what we wind up doing is if you, say, have an allergy to um, corporation, corporation A's gel polish, you may only be reacting to a specific resin in that gel polish and every other resin that's used in that, you're going to be totally fine with. And then if you change to Corporation B's gel polish, it may not have that resin and you may be just fine for a period of time. Or you may be fine with that resin, that gel polish system, for the rest of your life. So it winds up coming down to how does a person individually react to that product. If we take a look at what, how they react to that product, uh, is what can you do to avoid it. So if we start out with products, there's been a lot of talk about HEMA allergies. So you have HEMA, and that's hydroxyethyl methacrylate. So, sorry about the length of time it takes to write this out. Um, but HEMA is a, a pretty common one. And so when we take a look at HEMA on the market, how much HEMA is in the product also will determine if you form an allergy to it or not. If the HEMA concentration is, say, 1% to maybe 5%, you're less likely to create an allergy than if it was, say, 20% to 25%. So this could be more allergenic. This could be less allergenic. And I emphasize could. Not everybody's going to have an allergy to it. I can handle HEMA just fine. Um, in fact, I don't have any allergies to anything other than, well, beef. But, um, but if you have HEMA in the product and it has a lower concentration, you may be more sensitive to the product at 20 to 25%, but at the 1% to 5% level, you may not exhibit the same degree of allergenic response. So finding the system that works for you is important, but also understanding it is specific to what your body can handle and how it's going to react to that allergen as it's exposed to your body. So that's important. Not everybody's going to have an allergy to HEMA. In fact, percentage-wise, it's a fairly small percentage, but compared to other products that are used on the market, it's on the higher end. So making sure that you understand that it's specific to you or a small group of people, and it's specific to the product, the allergen, and its concentration. So HEMA is different than HPMA. So hydroxypropyl methacrylate is one carbon atom larger because it's the propyl is three carbons, ethyl is two carbons. So it's one carbon atom larger. However, its allergenic response rate in our industry is significantly reduced compared to HEMA. So the chemical can be different and you have a whole different response rate. So if you see something that looks similar in name to HEMA, um, and you're worried that it might have the same allergenic response rate for you, it probably won't. And so it depends upon how your body's going to react to whether you're allergic to the hydroxy portion, the methacrylate portion, the acrylate portion, or the, hydro or the entire molecule. So 
taking a look at those allergies, this is really specific and it's very, very important to understand. If you have any questions, write to us on social media or email or give us a phone call. We're here from you, for you from Redmond, Oregon. Thank you very much for your time.